So we just went back to Grilled to do another protest because we thought this was a better opportunity because it was busier, it's a Saturday night, and this protest was probably one of the most confronting I've ever done. Um, basically all three of us have just been attacked. People started just getting really worked up. The workers there were right onto it, getting really, really angry. Yeah. Um, and... <sighs> I don't, I don't know, like the whole thing's just a blur, like I can't even think straight. I'm getting pushed into the back room by a guy that's got him by the neck. Yeah. And I just I just dropped the, the the poster I was holding and went up and like pulled at his hoodie to get him off of... Yeah. Um, but they were really violent in there, they were really, really angry. Incredibly violent, like she came up and... Uh, yeah. Shouted, yeah, she just started shouting at me and like pull, fully shoving me, she tried to push me down the steps. What? And she was like constantly grabbing me and she even punched me in the back. And then another woman who was also dining um, just then like fully scratched at me and started saying, you can't film me. But she came into the camera like she wanted to be a part of the scene and started accusing me of filming her when I was trying to film you guys who were being attacked as well. And then, yeah, she was like punching and scratching me and fully pushing me as well. And I was trying to film her pushing me, but I don't... I don't really know if I got any evidence, but yeah, that was really fucked. <sighs> yeah, so we went in there to do a protest. We, it wasn't a, like, we weren't being particularly disruptive other than going in there to state facts and holding up signs to bring light to what is going on to animals and our planet. And we go in there and they got really, really worked up and really angry and people started one of the women that works there who's really angry was really angry the other day when we went there who declared that she was a proud animal abuser too she um she started pushing me and tried to take the sign off of me and there was another guy trying to touch me but then out of no or out of nowhere i see our cameraman and he's being shoved into the back room by a guy who's got him by the neck and i just dropped the car uh the poster and i went to grab the guy that had our cameraman by the neck and um, it turned pretty fucking violent in there. Um, and we didn't eat, go in there to start physically punching on with people. Um, and then, yeah, next minute, Tash is getting, you got punched by that same girl that works there mm. that was really angry the other day, but she's obviously still got a lot of anger built up after the other day. And so, yeah, she just saw it as an opportunity to physically abuse Tash because she's obviously probably been fantasizing about for several days and so we went in, when we went in there tonight because it's busier and we wanted to draw more attention she saw that as an opportunity to attack Tash and she was very violent um, another guy there tried to rip the sign out of my hands but the person that well I don't know I wasn't physically attacked to the same extent that Tash and our cameraman were yeah um so Right as um, Steph and Tash came into the restaurant and I was filming, um, straight away staff were trying to cover it and trying to stop me and were telling me to get out. This guy came and said, get out now, get out now. And I, uh, I, I, did, I didn't really listen to him. I couldn't really hear what he was saying. The music was so loud. Um, and he was saying, we're calling the police. Um, and co people were coming up to me, telling me to stop uh, a lot. And um, I, was, I was just being chill with everyone that came up to me they were saying you know don't film me don't consent I don't consent to this and I was being like all right um and then this one guy came up to me and he was like why fuck are you filming what are you doing um he punched me and then grabbed me by the neck and he pushed me through a door 
that opened up and he had me against a wall and was punching me and luckily I was like this guy could fucking knock me out. Yeah. Luckily staff came and were uh, and other people and Steph and whoever everyone was was helping me and pulling him back off me but um yeah he punched me a few times in the head and he had me around the neck. And then um after all that like people he was just staring me down and people were like surrounding him trying to just ch calm him down and I um they were just saying get out of the store but I knew as soon as I left the store he'd follow me and he did he followed me outside he had a clenched fist saying I'm gonna knock you out I'm gonna knock you out and I kind of just had to toy with him for a while to, until everyone else came outside as well um and he just like when everyone was talking to him he just kept his eyes on me looking like he wanted to kill me um so I just ended up just running from the restaurant yeah, I was really worried because I didn't know where our cameraman was going and, and I had this fear that he'd been taken down to one of the side streets and they were continuing to beat him up. Um, yeah. So that was terrifying because obviously I feel responsible for putting him in that situation. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, I guess no fight is going to be easy. No. That was, yeah, that was probably one of the most violent protests I've ever witnessed. Like, sure, I've uh confronted some extremely angry psychotic butchers um who've almost pulled their knife out on me but I've never like and of course I've been assaulted as well but this was like extreme physical assault and yeah we were we were all harmed in this protest and I can't believe that just happened that was fucked like all of those fucking grilled workers were bit so unprofessional like shouting in our faces and pushing and shoving and then one of the patrons fucking like clawed me and punched me and pushed me as well so um yeah that was really fucked